we check this particular question again on construction and locus, which is uh, uh, from November 2008 question paper. All right, so it was a direct question that we just need to be very careful using the applications and the idea of our trigonometry also to understand uh, the information that we know about a circle and its properties, but using it under construction. All right. On a single diagram, which meaning to say everything that we are having here should be on a single diagram, construct the item one, a line OP nine centimeters long. So we need line. So this one, there's no need for a sketch. We are just given something, it's not a diagram, it's just construct a line from where. So we are just gonna have this without a sketch, just construct our line. So let us have our instruments so that we can see how we can have this one done. All right, we never know what's going to happen later on because uh, let's just have our compass as well. So we are going to construct our line in this case. Let me put it here, nine centimeters long. So as, remember it's construction, it's not drawing. So you just draw a certain line, then you construct from that line now points that you are going to refer as OP. So your reference point, you mark it. This is the construction part now. So you are going to mark a point. This point you refer to as O. So this is your point O. Remember it's line OP. From O to P, you measure nine centimeters on your ruler. All right, so this one, it's gonna be somewhere there, nine centimeters from this point. All right, I mark along this line. That's where I am having my uh, nine centimeters there. So meaning to say at this point, this is my P, which is nine centimeters from O. So you now indicate nine centimeters. That's construction. If you just do like this, this is O, this is P. We have drawn line OP, not constructed line OP. So we are supposed to be careful on our construction. How we are being taught this part uh, must be revised. All right, uh, a circle. On, on, on the item two, now we need a circle center O, radius 3,5, center O. So O is the center. So we are going to the O here as our center. We need a circle radius 3,5. So you measure 3,5 on your ruler using your compass. So as for me, this is my 3,5. From the point O at O, this one is same as locus of points equidistant from, uh, from a fixed point. But there they said construct. They have told us direct what to do. So with 3,5 at 4, going to have our circle. All right. So this circle that we have just drawn, it has a radius of 3,5. If you measure from, from uh, the center here or to this point at the circle, you find 3,5. If you measure from your center to this point, you find 3,5. If you measure from this point to here, you find 3,5. If not, then it means it's wrong. You have to redraw again to make sure that you, you properly have this part. All right. Now the other question on item three is uh, the locus of points, the locus of points equidistant from O and P. Remember locus of points equidistant from two points. We've got O, P. It's a line by sector. These are positions in between uh, the two points. So we obtain a line by sector in this case. So here, Gonna have a line bisector or the perpendicular bisector uh, to what or to OP. So we are going to bisect OP. Remember how to bisect a line. Uh, you're gonna need a point O. So let's go to the point O. Open more than half of the line. All right. Let me place this aside. So at point O here, open more than half of the line. Here I'm um already more than half of the line by just looking on your compass, you can see this distance is more than half of the line. Construct an arc on top. All right, so let me change this one. Gonna construct an arc on top, another arc down. All right, so on this side, you're gonna construct another arc this side here. All right, the same thing from P without changing the distance. This distance that you have, you are not supposed to change it. You are supposed to construct an arc this side down then you construct another arc uh, this side here. All right, so these ones, they do not meet. So if they do not meet, go back to the O where you started here. 
you'll see that if you join again, these two, they will definitely meet. All right. So these two points, uh, they do meet at a certain point uh, here. All right. So let me see if I'm going to be able to win to remove something here. Or let me just leave it like that. All right. So now we can just join uh, these uh, intersections of the arcs that we have. All right, by joining this, that means we have bisected the line OP. You have divided your line into two equal parts. That is the that was our question in this case. So this line gives us equal distance from O to this point, from this point to P, meaning we have divided our line in two equal parts. So if you measure and the distances are not equal, then it means it's wrong. You have to redraw your line bisector again. All right, the circle on item four, we are supposed to construct a circle. Take note how this circle is supposed to be taken. The circle whose diameter is OP to cut the circle center O at R and Q. Okay, the major part is our circle, it must have a diameter as OP. This is the major part. All right, so if our circle has got a diameter OP, this is our OP, this one. They are saying this is our diameter. So what does it mean? It means the radius is from this point to this point because remember this line here represents a line bisector. It, it divides line OP into two equal parts. So it's like a center. This is where we have a center. So what you simply need from that point, you, uh, you step at this point as your center to point O or to point P. Whatever that you have from there, if you are to draw a, a circle, it must uh, pass through the point O and also the point P like this. That means uh, this is the diameter. So already we have this as our center because remember we constructed that line uh, saying that it's a line bisector of what? Of OP. It was dividing OP into two equal parts. So it's at the center. Now they are saying this circle that we have drawn, it is to cut, take note what is here, to cut center, the circle center O. Remember, there's a circle that we drawn using center O, this one, which is a radius of 3,5. It must cut that circle at R and Q. So they are just saying these two circles, they do meet at two points. We can just name this one R and this one Q, uh, depending with what you want where. The circle with center O and this, this one that we have drawn, they meet here. So you can name this one R. They also meet here. We can name this one Q. That's what they are saying. Or maybe you want R here, Q here. It's, it's your choice. We are not told that R is on top or P or Q is down. All right, that's R and Q. Then now they are saying we are supposed to draw or to construct the two tangents to the circle center O from P from P to the circle center O, what is a tangent? All right, from this point P here, this is our point P, we are supposed to draw a tangent. A tangent is a line that just touches the circumference of a circle. So meaning to say it must be from P to Q, to R and to Q, touching the circumference of a circle, that is a tangent. A tangent is a, just a line touching the circumference of a circle. It's not inside the, the, the circle, but uh, it will touch the circumference. And the tangent, it's not of the bigger circle. The tangent is of uh, the smaller circle, the one of center O. That's where our tangent is supposed to be at. So this one, it must pass through the point P, all right, something like this, and touching the circumference of circle center O, not inside, but just at the circumference like this, all right? So this is what you're going to have. This is our... Uh, tangent, where am I drawing this tangent now? Here we're going to have our tangent to P. We do the same thing from R, all right? From uh, R here, this point on the circle and to P like this. So we're going to have a tangent to the smaller circle, the one of uh, uh, center O. So that was our question in this case uh, about this part. All right, so that is it. Then if you check, they are now saying OP represents a certain locus. Describe this locus fully. Whenever you are given to describe a locus, we are talking about the four loci that I talked about, locus of points equidistant from, that is what they want. 
that is to describe a locus. So you need to know, uh, you need to know your your loci or all, all your loci, so that you can be able to describe it. Just like uh, uh, theorems, you need to know all the theorems. So let's see what OP is representing. Where is our OP? This is our OP here from O to P, this line here. They are saying this line here, it represents something. So what does it represent? This one now we are back to our circle geometry because we've got a circle here. So using the idea of your circle geometry, remember two tangents from the external point of a circle at their point of contact, we say they are equal in length. And if a line is drawn from the center, it divides the angle into two equal parts, meaning to say this angle and this angle here, they are divided into two equal parts. So which construction, which locus that we talk about, which talks about bisecting of an angle, it is the locus of points equidistant from two uh, lines. Remember I said, if you are given line A, B and B, C like this, you bisect angle B, they form a, a, an angle you bisect. This is what is happening. So now they want you to write the locus now. You are the one who is writing the locus. They might give you the locus and say, construct that locus. So here we are going to say it is the locus of points equidistant from the two lines. Which lines are we talking about? Where the bisector is going, it's bisecting angle P. So meaning to say it must be line QP. So it is going to be uh, the locus, it is the locus of points. So we've got locus of uh, points in this case, equidistant. All right, so these locus of points they are equidistant from the lines which are creating the angle that we are bisect that we bisected, which is angle P. So the line is QP. So it's from QP, or you can write it as from PQ. The order does not matter. All right, and the other line that is creating this angle P is what? It's R to P. This line. This is where we bisected. So it's a R P O P R, all right, and P R, all right, from P to R, or you can write this as R P. The order, like I said, does not matter. So if you check, we bisected angle P, the one that is common, angle P, the one that is common. So this is a, our that was our question. So the question now was to answer the construct the locus now from the construction that you did. Uh, use the locus concept now. Uh, all right, uh, on C we are given a point T lies inside the quadrilateral P, Q, O, R, uh, P, Q, O, R. So meaning to say, if you check here, we've got four sides from P to Q to O to R. If we join here, we are going to have what? A quadrilateral being formed, which is a kite. So we are going to form a kite there, but they didn't say join. I'm just saying if it was like that. So now they're saying there's a point that is lying inside that quadrilateral side that it is nearer, take note, it is nearer PQ than PR. Uh, whenever you compare being nearer to two lines, we've got PQ and we've got PR like this. This is our Q, uh, P, okay? I need the point P to be here at this point. This is our P to Q like this and P to R like this. If the distance is nearer PQ, it must be from the angle bisector of P. These are the distances that are, these are the, 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 the distance or the positions which are nearer PQ from the angle bisector. When you compare two points like this one, nearer or that these are points, so to be nearer a point, this is O, this is P, that one must be compared from a line bisector, if you still remember. So the, the positions which are nearer O, you compare from a line bisector, these are the positions which are closer to O. All right, so let's analyze this. So they are saying the first one, it's nearer PQ. So like I said, we need the angle bisector so that we check which distances or position nearer to PQ. So there's an angle bisector here, the one that we have. So meaning to say the distances which are closer to PQ are on this side. This is where we are going to have our distances on this side, on this side here. That's where we are going to have our positions. But they did not end there. Having these positions, they also say that 
it must be nearer or closer to O than to P. And I said, in order for you to compare this, you need a line bisector. Is there a line bisector on O, P? O, P, there's a line bisector. Remember this line here, we drawn this as our, as our line bisector. So the distances which are closer to O from this line bisector are supposed to be this side because it's supposed to be inside the quadrilateral. So these distances are supposed to be somewhere here. But they did not end there. there. So we are not going to uh, use this as our final part. It's closer to PQS, this side. But now they are saying it's closer to O, meaning to say this side of O from the line bisector. Now let's get the last statement now. And it is given that such that, given also that OT is greater than or equal to 3,5. OT is greater than or equal to 3,5. What, what are they trying to say? From point O to T, from point O to T, wherever you want to go, we must have a distance or a pos uh, the positions are supposed to be more than or equal to 3,5 centimeters. Where do we have this 3,5 before? Yes, the 3,5 is the one that we used to draw this circle. Remember this circle here is it's of radius 3,5. So meaning to say any distance that is greater than 3,5 must be outside of the circle because our circle has a radius of three centimeters. So anything inside this circle is less than or equal to three centers, anything less, anything inside. As we need greater than, so we need what is outside of the circle. So which position is left? The only position that is going to be left is going to be here, this one. It's greater than, more than the circle, but it's nearer PQ, it's on the side of PQ. Nearer O, it's not supposed to, to exceed this line because nearer O, you are comparing from this line. So this is the only, position that is going to be left more than 3,5 and nearer O than P and also nearer to what to PQ than where this position is. So we are going to share the region. This is the region where the point T is. T it's not a it's not from like you are saying T it's here. It's it, it these everything that is shaded in this shaded position represents where the point T is. It's not a fixed point to say you are going to see this is the fixed point. No, it's a position that we're talking about. That is the locus. Locus, we're talking about positions that are satisfying a certain uh, consideration. So that's where the point it is. So here we asked it to just show by shading. So that is what we had. So uh, that was the typical question. This one, uh, it, it needed us to know also the idea of our shapes uh, 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 also in our idea of our circle geometry, trigonometry itself, uh, so that we, we combine everything at once with the techniques of our construction that was helping us to construct the diagram, but having the knowledge of our geometry uh, was also very, very important to, to, to apply on this question.